ranch in uh, 2006 and uh, as a horse ranch and then I saw the uh, the empty hillsides that I couldn't put horses on and thought, well, I could live in there. And sort of rather jumped into it without, without too much research. wasted land with nothing on it but sort of scrub. So, and someone had said to me, oh, you should put some vines in there. And I thought, what a good idea. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I did it. And, and uh, that was in what year? That was in, that was in 2007. And by 2009, I had my first harvest. I, had, I got 22 cases my first year which of, of the Syrah. And so that was really exciting. a tiny vineyard. I mean, I'm a micro boutique vineyard. Yes. I'm not even a boutique vineyard, but it's. Um, I think that makes it just that much more special, you know, because everything. You know, I'm out there and I'm, I'm pruning the vines and I'm picking the grapes and everything, and and it's it's much more of a sort of personal thing, I think, than a lot of other vineyards. Even some of the local ones, it's all they're all done by. You know, I mean, obviously I have help, but yeah. but so much of it I do myself, and I think that makes such a difference because I. You know, I can really see what's what's going on and how things are growing. And, on the soil and shadows on the vine. Well, there you are. <laughs> That's me for sure, yeah. working in the vineyard and I mean what could be better yeah, and then to have this at the end of it and I'll drink it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right, and this beautiful view yeah. Yeah. 